no, she is not a feeder. People think that she's a feeder and she's definitely not that. Like, yes, she has a specific type. Every single person that I've been in a relationship with, they said that they prefer girls my size. I don't know if I would ever actually be in a relationship with someone who didn't prefer bigger girls because it's like, I am really big and I wouldn't see someone who prefers smaller girls to be in a relationship with me. That probably would never happen. To be a fear is a completely different topic. A versus someone who prefers bigger girls two completely different things and she is not that she is not a female i would never in a million years be in a relationship with one B is a USS BBW who loves movies, game nights, and her friends and family. She used to be an avid BBW bash attendee and has been in this community a long time. She has a lifelong record of being the biggest woman in the room, in every room she enters and at her last weight, early 2023, she was 1,040 pounds. Having become nearly immobile, she decided to check into a rehabilitation and care spot in AZ and after some setbacks, has been completely bed-bound since May 2022. In order to get out of rehab and get to actually live her life with Willow the way they plan, she is working to regain mobility and lose some of her weight. Even after losing hundreds of pounds, she would still qualify as a USS BBW, and ultimately this is what needs to happen to ensure there is a future to enjoy so while this is not a common goal here, please be accepting. You don't have to encourage, but please don't be unkind. Thank you in advance. Unfortunately, Colleen aka, B, would end up in the hospital and on a ventilator. Please pray for B. She's not doing well and she's in the hospital. She can use all the prayers and good vibes sent her way. An update on B, she's still healing but she's off the ventilator and was able to communicate a little bit today. The nurses said she's officially out of the woods and the worst is over. Keep the prayers coming for a continued recovery. She has a long road ahead of her but she's the strongest person I know. I love her with all of my heart. to call Emily up to hear from her, Colleen's partner. I know most of you already know, but Colleen already had a way with words. I, however, am not a public speaker. It doesn't come to me like it did for her. She made it look effortless as the words she spoke flowed together so eloquently that whatever message she was trying to share was not only heard but felt. That was just one of the, one of the many ways she was the yin to my yang, or my yinny. When I first met Colleen, the feeling was inst instantaneous, and our connection was overwhelming. She loved to tell the people the story of when she first saw me, she immediately thought, oh, there you are. Like our souls have been looking for each other, and we are finally reunited. She was exactly what I needed. I was instantly in love with her. It felt like I already knew her for a thousand lifetimes. She gave me the gift of feeling a love that I didn't know existed. It's a type of love that you don't know until you actually feel it when you experience it. Some people never get to experience that, but she gave that gift to me. Being apart wasn't always easy, but we made up for it by FaceTiming every single day. We actually didn't miss a single day other than a handful of days without calls, but we always texted. We would joke around that we were probably closer than couples who lived in the same household. <laughs> She would come with me and my daughter to the zoo with us, and she would help me pick out my flooring, and she took care of me. She makes me want to be a better person. Amber addressed another rumor, and in true Amber fashion, made it even worse for herself and her girlfriend. 
There is this one thing that's floating around of this girl saying how like my girlfriend messaged her, you know, weeks ago. It wasn't weeks ago, it was months ago. It was even before me and my girlfriend even started talking. And that literally means nothing to me. By Amber trying to deny this rumor, she actually made it worse. Tommy's ex-girlfriend passed away in April of this year. So according to Amber, Tommy was flirting with and hitting on Spanx Beluga shortly after and then was in a relationship with Amber by July. Upon learning all this information, people started leaving comments of genuine concern, so Amber decided to turn her comments off on her latest video. She posted her response to her community tab, where she also turned the comments off. There are multiple communities that watch my videos, but there's one in particular that likes to see me miserable, so they go to large lengths to do so. In the most recent events in my life, I decided to share someone special to me, but by doing that, a lot of bad has happened because of it when all I wanted to do was share my happiness. My girlfriend's late partner was doxxed. Doxing is never ever okay, especially in this kind of situation. I will never share personal details, but the rumors being spread about her and my girlfriend are not true at all. The doxing, the harassment, the hate, the bullying. It is all way too much for me, let alone two people who do not deserve it whatsoever. This has completely altered my life and now my girlfriend's life. I know this will land on ears of people who do not give a crap about what I am saying, but if you have a heart at all, leave my girlfriend and her late partner out of it. Talk all the sh about me that you want, I really don't care, but they do not deserve this. All of this info, the pictures, the obituary, the service, their couple's site etc, were and still are publicly available. People really were worried for Amber and were trying to warn her, and instead of seeing the red flags and running, she sees it as people trying to steal her happiness. Like in the past, like I see red flags in relationships. People have red flags, it's a thing. But when I would see the red flags, I would admit like, oh, that is hardcore red flag, or oh, that's, uh, that's triggering my BPD, or oh, wow, this relationship is making my mental illness actually worse. Like I see these things and it's like, I get so like delusional in relationships where it's like, I'm able to talk about these red flags and see them and whatever, but like I make excuses for them. With this relationship, I haven't seen a red flag. And I'm over here like, is that a red flag? That there is no red flags? I have been in these relationships where my BPD, I get triggered, then my partner gets triggered and it's just like a constant like battle between the two. And I have found that like in this current relationship, like I haven't had that. Like my mental health has improved since I even just started talking to her. Like it was like, an instant connection. We both thoroughly see each other together for a very long time. And she's genuinely really, really special to me. I cannot wait to meet her in person. Like we're gonna have so much fun together. It's like the universe is like, we got you Amberlynn, we got you Tommy. Like you guys are about to be happy together. And like, we really are. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary, like. There are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. This is my life, and I do what I want.